Hey there, are you following me? <laughs> Welcome back to your curated real estate journey where today we're diving into episode one where we'll be unraveling the intricate world of contract contingencies and their pivotal role in your overall home selling timeline. So what are contract contingencies? Think of them as safety nets and milestones woven into your real estate contract. These are conditions that must be met for the deal to progress smoothly to a closing. Understanding them is key to a successful transaction. So let's dive into some common contingencies you'll likely encounter, inspections, financing, and appraisal and mortgage contingencies. Each come with its own set of tasks and deadlines. First up, the inspection contingency. Now, in the last few years, we've seen more and more buyers willing to waive their home inspection contingency in hopes of being more competitive in multiple offer situations. But historically, this is not commonplace. And more recently, we're seeing home inspections make a comeback. If you did a phenomenal job so far as your own real estate agent, you may very well have received multiple offers, some without inspections. And if that's the case, congratulations. That means you don't need to worry about further negotiations in that department. But if the buyer you've chosen to work with is having home inspections, this usually occurs immediately following your purchase and sales agreement being fully executed. The Rhode Island Association of Realtors Standard Purchase and Sales Agreement allots a 14-day window or 10 business days, allowing buyers to inspect the property thoroughly as they deem necessary. This can include but is not limited to a home and mechanical inspection of the house's major systems and overall construction and soundness, a wood boring pest inspection, septic inspection, sewer line scoping inspection, well production and potability inspection, lead inspection, radon inspection, and or mold inspection, depending on the systems your property is serviced by. There will be a deadline for these inspections to be completed by and for any negotiations to occur around these items. Make sure you have a detailed understanding of the required timelines around inspection negotiations and completion and defer to your real estate attorney if you have absolutely any questions. Next up is typically the appraisal contingency. Now, if you've managed to secure a cash buyer for yourself, you likely won't need to worry about an appraisal contingency. But if your buyer is utilizing institutional financing like the large majority of buyers, their lender needs to determine the property's fair market value and confirm they're not giving the buyer more than the house is actually worth. A seasoned agent will try to make sure the appraisal timeline aligns with the buyer's financing contingency, as the buyer's financing can't be fully approved without the appraisal report being completed in most cases. As the seller, you want the appraisal to happen as soon as possible so that you know sooner than later if you have an issue with value and your contract price. Depending on the offer you negotiated and accepted for yourself and how your purchase and sales agreement is written, the appraisal coming back under your contract price could mean further negotiations or the buyer being able to release and walk away unless you specifically negotiated otherwise. Last but not least, we have the buyer's financing contingency, which is their deadline to secure a mortgage. It's common place to see this timeline set anywhere from 30 to 60 days, and we'll cover this in more detail in episode three of this segment. Navigating these contingencies efficiently is the name of the game and ultimately getting to the finish line. There's a ton of nuance in negotiating these contingencies and best protecting yourself, but I'm sure you've already figured that out because you don't need no stinking realtor. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and please share. See you for episode two, where we'll unravel the timeline of the closing process. See you soon.